This UCSD TV program is a presentation of University of California Television for educational and non commercial use only. From aerospace, mechanical, and bioengineering to structural, nano, electronic, and computer engineering, the Jacobs School of Engineering at UC San Diego is known for its stellar research. But the Jacobs School of Engineering's most important product is its students. To fulfill its mission of educating tomorrow's technology leaders, the Jacobs School offers several model undergraduate programs that foster innovation and leadership and teach not only engineering, but teamwork. Jacobs School undergraduate engineering students work together to create innovative and groundbreaking products for real-world applications. This is a lab that was founded as a partnership between National Geographic and UCSD. And uh, basically what it is is it's undergraduate students working on projects that are actually going to go out into the field and make exploration easier for National Geographic explorers. Basically, this is an aerial video platform um, that would be a much cheaper alternative to a helicopter in the field. So this device was built to actually hold a camera, which sits uh, underneath the housing right about here. And that camera um, has a live feedback, so a camera person sitting there operating, and all the time it's recording. And basically we're able to get uh, images of lots of things that before were sort of left out of the realm of possibility in the field. And this, thing, this whole thing um, folds up into a backpack and can charge in about you know, an hour or so to get in the air. And our flight time is at between like 15 and 20 minutes. I will be accompanying uh, Albert Lin, who is a research scientist at UCSD. I'll be going with him on a trip to Mongolia to look for the tomb of Genghis Khan. Essentially what we'll be doing is using this as a photo generating device to try to generate images from the air. And ideally if we collect enough data we'd like to build a 3D map of this whole area. The applications of this I have to say extend you know, far beyond just getting a couple pretty pictures from the air, which people have been able to do for a while now. But if you can envision you know, maybe 30 of these things communicating in the air and flying sort of in like the flying V pattern or in a cloud pattern, your, your point cloud of data grows exponentially. It's to the point that you're getting enough data to actually do viable real-time research with it. And the fact that these projects are actually going to be go out and be deployed, not just by you know, students with, with an idea to go out and deploy it, but with an agency that's, that's you know, so universally recognized, um, that's very interested in the data that we're collecting, I, I, it's, it's lit a fire, I, I think, under the students' involvement in this program. <laughs>